My name is Michael Young, and I'm a lawyer who handles life insurance beneficiary disputes. In this video, I want to talk about some recent news that the U.S. Department of Labor has settled claims against Mutual of Omaha regarding its denial of ERISA life insurance claims. Just to step back a little bit, ERISA is a federal law that is designed to regulate employee benefits. And that would often include pension benefits, health insurance coverage, but also life insurance. Many people get their life insurance company through their employer through a group plan. The employee will contribute the premiums or they're deducted from their paycheck, and then they will obtain group life insurance coverage. Well, ERISA can be very unfair to the employee and to the advantage of the insurance company. And I get these calls all the time. And the problem is that ERISA, if you try to sue the life insurance company for a denial, you don't get a jury trial, and the federal judges are bound to generally accept the life insurance company's benefit determination because the federal courts provide that the life insurance company gets extreme discretion in evaluating the claim. Well, you can see the fundamental unfairness they're the ones who are paying the claims, and the federal courts are granting them discretion to decide whether to pay the claims. Well, a common scenario that I see is that ERISA provides that the life insurance company has to administer payments and handling of the claims in accord with the plan documents. Well, what will happen is that someone will pay premiums for years through their payroll deductions, then if they pass away, their beneficiary will make a claim and then the life insurance company will go back and say, oh no, for whatever reason, you didn't meet the requirements of the plan, so you never had coverage. And the employee's estate or loved ones may get a refund of the premium payments, but that's often much less than the actual policy payout, which for an ERISA policy can be 250, 300, 500, $700,000 or more. The problem is, is that in the meantime, that person, the employee and their loved ones have believed that they had life insurance coverage. And it's fundamentally unfair for the insurance company to accept the premium payments and then only go back and look later on, years later and say, oh, you never met the coverage. Well, that's why the Department of Labor brought those claims against Mutual of Omaha and settled them and now provides a mechanism where Mutual of Omaha has to decide generally within 90 days whether a person meets the requirements of the plan, make that determination then, not after the employee passes away. This is a very positive development, even though Congress should revise ERISA to address some of the unfairness to employees.